Hi there, it's Katie again with another episode of Let's Play Simulation Street. And today we are with the household pals. Jack has already gone to work. I'm sorry if you can hear a horrible noise. Apparently there's drilling going on next door. Okay, it stopped. Okay, good. Right. <laughs> so, let's see. The boys don't have work for two days, so there's no point in us really doing anything for their work because we'll only be playing one day with them. So, let's see what we should get up to. Is that house backwards? No, okay, lovely. Um, right, so, is there anything we can do for that? He wants to practice programming for five hours, so let's get you started on that. Might as well have that underway. Oh, let's go back. Practice programming. And he wants to work out for a total of eight hours. So let's take him up to his room. We can just get them started on that for the time being. Um, get them working through their aspirations. And what else does he need to do for his aspiration? Just that. Okay, well, if we can get this done, we'll just three-speed it, get it done quickly, and then we'll take the boys out somewhere um, when Jack's home from work, which will be at 5 o'clock. So if we just let the boys do what they need to do until 5 o'clock, we'll take them out. Um, let's have a little look around town to see what's going on. Summer holidays, making some hamburgers. Ingrid Oliviera just walked past, run, ran past. Let's see what's going on over here, someone's fishing. Ingrid Oliviera is just going for an epic run around the block. Oh, and there is, actually, let's get them meeting people. These two haven't met anybody yet, I don't think. Let's have a look at their relationships. He knows Jack, Mitchell, Ella, and Nancy Landgrab, and that is it. And he only knows who he lives with and some little boy called Lucas. And he's not working out anyway, so. Let's introduce ourselves to Adriana Franklin. Actually, I wanted... What am I doing? I want Mitchell Chips. Where is he? I mean he, she. I want him to get with... To introduce himself to Ingrid. Go do that. And we'll line that up a few times because they often cancel the interactions just as they get near each other, so. And he's still programming away. And he's been doing it for two hours, so he'll he'll be fine. Let's follow Mitchell Chips. Oh, uh, Bob Pancakes looks sad in the background there. Keep on going. Yes! Lovely. And it didn't cancel any of their interactions, so, uh, the game's lagging. What are these onions? Cool. Turn away. He wants to tell a joke, so we'll tell a joke to Ingrid. <laughs> we'll ask about her career. <laughs> then, funny <laughs> joke about politicians. <gasps> ben! Well, actually, we're not going to win. It, we're not going to introduce Ben into this conversation because we all know how his dinner with Ingrid went yesterday. And who can be bothered? <laughs> he wants to chat, which is fine because he's already got chat interactions lined up. Don't be blah blah blahing at her. <laughs> we found out she's a glutton. Lovely. Ah, Lars and. Deep conversation. Let's talk about latest party. Deep conversation. He only needs to work out for another hour. Probably not even a full hour, so I'm not worried about him at all. Oh, they're just having a nice wee time. Lovely. We'll ask her if she's single. We know she's single, but we'll ask her anyway. Oh, I didn't mean to press the M button. Because the button to go to travel and the turning the screen, like the rotate the screen buttons are next to each other, I always click the M button by accident. Anyway, get that finished. Mitchell Chips, let's go back to him. See how he's getting on with Ingrid. Oh, we found out she's neat. Lovely. We'll have a gossip with her. That'll get her feeling happy as ever. On all that. Oh. We'll flirt with her. Kabuni. 
Ah. Ask about day. Niblet Zabrisia. Oh, uh, Ingrid is single. So Shock. We didn't know that. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's throw another flirty interaction her way. Compliment her appearance. Ask about her day again. Tell her a funny story. We won't flirt with her too much. Right now, we're going to start things off slowly. Smintina? Arvini. Droba. Inside joke. Mishi Oba. And then we'll let him go to the toilet. Because he doesn't have And that's Go on. Maybe actually have to go to the house. That's mildly annoying. And you can pee there. Let's see how <laughs> Dwight's getting on, just sitting on his own in here. I mean, he seems quite content. Social uh -huh. skill need is a bit low, but we'll let's speed this up so that he can go and meet someone. Who shall we get him to meet? Well, there's loads of people down here at the park. He can meet Adriana. Considering she's sat all on her own. We'll have a friendly introduction with her. Yay! And he completed that part of the computer whiz challenge. Is he hungry? Because he can eat one of these burgers. Olaba. Oh, she's feeling flirty. Hello. But I feel like Dwight is probably not Adriana's type. Plus, she is married. Is she pregnant? I think I got one of my sims pregnant and I might have just left them to fend for themselves and have the baby. I don't remember necessarily if I did that. Speaking of which, if I do play a sim and they get pregnant because they do only have three days, I'll probably end up switching out the episodes that week um, so we can follow through their pregnancy and get to name their child. Well, they're getting on really well, so that's fine. Let's make them friends. Right, you can have fun over there. He's peed and he's getting a bit hungry. So we'll send him actually out to join these guys. He can grab a veggie burger, have some health. Where are you going? Okay, he's still talking to her, that's fine. Are they hugging or something? No, oh, giving his brilliant invention. I really like Adriana. I feel like she's just this innocent little girl. Yay! Jack's been promoted to office assistant. So let's go and see what new items we have. And it shot us right over to the house. That scared me. Oh, we just have the name plaque. So let's put that on the computer desk with all the other junk that they have piled up here. They have so much junk. <laughs> right. There we go. Let me just go at the back. Lovely. So Jack's home from work and he's feeling pretty tense. Um, he's hungry and needs some fun. So we'll get him to get some food. Uh, well, if they, if they need to cook, then you can just go and join your pals out here, to be honest. Where's the park? Grab a serving. And what does he want to do? Get to know Dwight. Cute. He wants a vacation date. And Adriana just left. So we're going to... Why, why does he have a book? We're going to let Adriana go. But let's see what else he wants to do. We can chat with our friend, actually. What are we talking about? Debate game strategy. And get to know. And then Jack wants to get to know Dwight. So let's get that all lined up. Z Gorbanay Shop. Niara. <laughs> and he'll gossip with Dwight about office romances as well. <laughs> Why are you embarrassed? Huh, well, browse some media. Can we do that on our phone? I don't know if we can. Browse the web at least. So they're all out for a nice little, nice wee night. 
And but Jack is feeling nice. tense still. So maybe he'll be the one to suggest the tab, going somewhere else. Right, so get to know your friend, because you do, uh, don't look so grumpy at him. He feels really bad, and he's embarrassed. And now, so, it's Mitchell. <laughs> oh, not feeling good here, boys. We need to get you out on the town. Maybe we'll take you to a pub. We stop shuddering. <laughs> Yay, right, we're gonna take them out now because, well, they need to. <laughs> right, eat that though. Before we go anywhere, please. You can go for a jog in the meanwhile. Try to get some energy juice so you don't feel so rubbish. You can go run. <laughs> I heard you became friends with Ingrid Oliviera. She's pretty cool. Yes, she is. Jack, will you stop being mean to your friends, please? Make fun of corporate goons. You can do that. Go ahead. Discuss the latest book hit. You chill out, please. Complain about problems. This girl looks really cute. Uh -huh. Who are you, little cute girl? Marion. Cute. Right, Jack is going to take his boys on a night out because he is so tense. So they're going to go to the pub, I think. Or well, we don't have a pub in Simulation Street or in Newcrest. So we will just take them, I don't know, the bar. In fact, I don't think we've been to the lounge yet, have we? Let's go to the lounge. That could be fun. Have we been to the lounge? Maybe we have. I don't know. We're going to go to the lounge anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll take Vince. Why not? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot a cup of tea with me. So if I keep going quiet or if you keep hearing me drink, then it's because I am drinking. And I'm having a cup of tea. Oh, right, so let's see, where are we at right now? The boys are all going to the lounge, gonna hang out. There might be a lot of old people there because the lounge does bring in the elders. But also maybe we could socialize with some other people. And we just wanna make Jack feeling happy after work because he did get a promotion, so he deserves a bit of a treat. Um, he's climbing up that career ladder, which is fab. So yeah, maybe he's, maybe, Oh, Vince is coming, so he can chat with Vince. He can try and get up with some people who he works with. Um, they can be friendly together. Oh, if this opens. <laughs> this is taking forever. Here we go, right. We are at Scarlet, the lounge, and I did download this off the gallery. I've changed very few things about this um, this place. Can we go in here? I want to open this box. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw that. I hadn't noticed that before, and I just immediately was like, "I want to, I want to have it." Dead red coral. Cool. <laughs> I like this bathroom. I don't like how <laughs> these all clip in. Oh, do we get to keep that? Ha! Huh. Chaz McFreely. Ah, uh, forget it, you can keep that. Right, let's go upstairs. Let's go and get our dance on. Ah, oh, there's no elders. Great. Have they fixed that bug? Get to know him. Uh, you can go and order a round of drinks at the bar. Or group. Cupid Juice? No, I think he's probably just going to get in a round of beers. And Mitchell Chips is feeling energised, but we will change him into an appropriate outfit. Well, actually, he seems to be in his party wear, so we'll change you into your party wear as well. Awkward that they're wearing the same outfit, almost. Are there any of our sons from about town here? I don't think there are. 
uh, can Jack please change into his normal clothes? Or his party outfit, actually. <laughs> it's pretty nice here. This is a really nice bar, and I love, love this music. Is this the new jazz speaker? Don't think so. I like it though, <laughs> it sounds nice music. I'll just let them get sorted out, let's see what they're up to. Can I take a drink? Good, good, good. Why are you here? Why are you ordering drinks? You've got a drink in your hand. Leave. Well, this looks like a little awkward gathering over here, doesn't it? Come on, Jack, watch, watch your party. Oh, looking ready to party in your jumper. Lovely. Let's go and have a chat with Jack. Discuss work. Gossip about office romances. Gossip about co workers. Oh, we're really friendly with. Um, this man already, so it's fine. This man. <laughs> His name is Vince Franklin. Let's see what he's up to. You're sitting on your own like a little loser. Let's go and talk to Mitchell, shall we? You've just left over here. We'll get to know him. Share brilliant ideas. Enthuse about a new show. Bright and day. Heartfelt compliment. And get to know again. And Mitchell, if you finish your drink, go and get some more drinks. Order drink for a group. We'll get some more EPA. EAPA. This is cool. Like, this lot looks full, even though there's actually not that many people here. So I like that. I wish more of my sims would come and hang out in the tower though, that is really annoying me um, about this let's play. So I might just have to go around in my own time and introduce everyone to everyone on the street so they all know each other. Otherwise it's just going to get really annoying for me. Um, okay. Grab a drink. And then you can have a little... You can introduce yourself to him. Grab a drink, and you can grab that drink. You can carry on talking to him. Tell an engaging story. What's he? What's Dwight up to? Dwight might think this girl is quite attractive, Morris Saldana. We'll introduce ourselves to her. She's actually quite pretty. Oh, she's moved to sit with us. Sweet. Right, we'll get to know you. Oh, she's an adult though, and these are young adults, so... Oh, she has a really deep voice. <laughs> um, bright and day. Do an impression. Here we go. She's feeling flirty. Get to know... Saluna Fim! We're gonna be really bold and just go mad on the flirt. She's feeling flirty anyway. So it could go in our favour. Dwight's getting his flirt on, the guys are all having fun over here. He's getting to be really good friends with Vince, which is great because that'll help him climb the career ladder. Actually, should probably try and make friends with his boss, so, but oh well. We'll bond with Mitchell as well, we could do with being better friends with our roommate over here. Um, where was Get to Know again? Get to Know, oh, was the Make Toast an option there? Right, let's make a toast. Make Toast, I've never seen this interaction, so we're just going to sit and watch these guys for a little while. Oh, Mitchell man, you're stinking. <laughs> Mitchell might have to go home. Yeah, Gaba. Karenzi. 
I want to see this toast. And I want Mitchell not to stink. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he raised his drink. That's cute. I like that. Uh, Mitchell. Uh, can we clean up here? Yeah, of course we can. We can go to the toilet. Oh, they're having fun. We're going back to this. Forget Mitchell and his stinky B.O. We're getting on with this woman here. And we're going to try and have a one-night stand with her, I think. Flirt. Pick up line. Oh, she's not keen, not keen. Back off. Joke about politicians. Smooth recovery. Smooth recovery. Don't become embarrassed, please. I can see that moodlet down there. Come on, smooth recovery again. Stop being awkward. Oh, Dwight. At least you're feeling playful. Oh, it's not going well for you, Dwight. You've got no game. Oh, I, did, I did just tell you to flirt again, so that's on me. <laughs> oh, she's a stay-at-home mum. She's probably married then. Let's ask if she's single. <laughs> ask if single. Nah, you're blowing it here. You're really bad, Dwight. <laughs> yeah, she's married. We're gonna say goodbye to you. Let's see. Um, if you not see, say goodbye. Yes, there we go. Goodbye. We'll leave you alone. Okay, Mitchell, go pee. Okay, all of you go pee. Well, actually, forget that. We'll take you all home. You all need to pee. <laughs> it's getting late. So, let's see what happened today. Jack got a promotion, which is fab. Um, yeah. Mitchell has got to know Ingrid, and they seem to be getting on quite nicely. And Dwight absolutely failed <laughs> trying to hit on that woman at the lounge so his life love life is not going too fab although i feel like this episode represents the boys all quite well so jack's getting promoted in his career um mitchell has been exercising and being energized and flirting with the or getting on with the ladies and dwight has been trying and floundering pretty badly um, so yeah, that pretty much sums up the guys and their personalities quite well. Um, so we're going to call it a day here. I'm not going to play any off-screen play with the boys because they have a little time till they have to go to work anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let you go. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please like it. And if you'd like to watch more of Simulation Street or of my other Let's Play, The Sims 4 Dine Out, feel free to subscribe. Uh, come back tomorrow and there will be more videos of both the Dine Out Let's Play and Simulation Street. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you again next time. Goodbye.